Hello and welcome everyone to part 18 of the Kingdom of the Franks Let's Play for Age of Charlemagne for Total War Rotella. We continue where we left things off last time. I spent a little bit of my money but I wanted to very briefly look at the family tree because I missed it in the last part but thank you eagle-eyed viewers and again once again thank you for all your comments, uh, for, for liking, for sharing the video. Uh, it's much appreciated. Also, if you are wondering why videos are uploaded, uploaded a day late at the moment, this is kind of like regular reminder. Don't forget to check out my Twitter or my Facebook pages if you're wondering where uploads are because those are the easiest forms of kind of mass communication that I can give out to followers because YouTube does not have a system in place to do that. So, at LionheartX10 on Twitter and just LionheartX10 on Facebook, you can search for both those pages or you can find them down in the description uh, that will let will have let you know that yesterday I was away at hockey. It took very very long time uh, to drive there. By the time I played hockey, uh, had kind of the some food afterwards and driven back, it was way too late to be able to record, render, and upload and have them process to release on YouTube in time for Saturday. I'm actually considering switching Saturday's uploads to Sunday permanently, just because I have hockey for the next couple of months. So there will be likely for quite a few of these sorts of things occurring. So bear with me on that, I'll make a video if that's going to happen and let you guys all know and I will remind you to death in these Let's Plays as well. But, eagle-eyed among you, notice that I had another son born to me from my marriage to my Mercian wife, uh, Theodobert here. Now, historically, obviously this never happened, but there is something surrounding this, uh, this first son that I have, Pepin. He it becomes known as Pepin the Hunchback. And actually uh, becomes disinherited uh, by Charlemagne eventually. Now there are two um, kind of sort of sides to the argument, um, two different um, discussions that go on about when specifically Pepin was disinherited. Some argue that he was disinherited as early as sort of 781, I believe, when Charlemagne has Pepin's younger half brother. Carloman renamed to Pepin and following on from that his renamed son Carloman to Pepin he um to secure kind of his his Carolingian dynasty he declares that Pepin will be king of Italy uh, and he'll you know when he starts he divides up his kingdom between his three sons Charles Louis and Pepin but not Pepin the hunchback and they each get part of his of his kingdom, his empire. That's the plan anyway, obviously it doesn't go because some of his sons die. But um with renaming his son Carloman to Pepin and giving him the future title of King of Italy, that is very important for his relation with the papacy, which many historians argue that is what it's more likely to be rather than a direct well, a direct signal to begin the disinheriting of Pepin the Hunchback, uh, Charlemagne's firstborn son, uh, because obviously it was Pepin the Short, Charlemagne's father, that nurtured pro-papal policy and relations with the papacy during his time as mayor of the palace and then as king, and obviously that frank promise, that whole thing came about through the lineage that Pepin the Short, Charlemagne's father, had built, that relationship with the Pope, the expectation that the Franks would rally to the Pope's call should he need them to be kind of defenders of the faith and anything else that the Pope needed doing at the time sort of thing. So, some historians argue that it happened as early as sort of seven, eight, as, the, as the 780s, that Pepin the Hunchback was kind of disinherited and it be, began being swept aside because obviously by that point um, Charlemagne's remarried many times, yada yada yada, and he probably doesn't want his, for, well, his other nobles probably won't look too fondly on him having his firstborn as his direct heir because technically he's the product of Charlemagne and a concubine or an informal marriage, as we discussed in a previous part. However, the other side of the, the argument, the discussion, is that he wasn't really disinherited, that he actually still carried his father's favour because he was still kept at uh, Charlemagne's court with um, Charles, one of Charlemagne's other sons, by uh, Hildegard. Uh, he was still kept in the court, and and you know he was he was being brought up, and uh, you know potentially would be given a fair share of of Francia eventually. That's the the argument there. However, that all changed when he decided to rebel in seven ninety two with 
uh, a fair few other nobles, and they actually plotted to assassinate Charlemagne. It was discovered in time, and uh, many were put to death. However, Charlemagne didn't want to kill his firstborn, as probably quite understandable. So he becomes a tonsured, which is the um, shaving of the head um, with just sort of the, the halo of hair around the top um, when you go to a monastery or you become a monk. And that's what happened. Pepin was sent off to a monastery, which is actually something kind of common within this period. You know, if they didn't want to be killed, if they wanted to be if they wanted to exile someone, you were often sent to a monastery to live out the rest of your days, and that's what happened to Pepin. And I believe he dies of plague, it's assumed or presumed, in about 811. So that's the end of Pepin the Hunchback, but I thought I'd briefly let you guys know about that before we dive on in for more. Now, some of you are sort of saying, because of that whole thing with the, with the firstborn Pepin, can we please disinherit him? And I'm, I'm, I'm not against that. Um, I mean, Charlemagne will be fairly old by the time Theodobert comes of age. Hopefully he'll survive, but that's fine. I mean, worst case scenario, it goes to Pepin anyway, and he becomes king, and we try and make him a better Pepin the Hunchback. I mean, you guys can let me know down in the comments section whether you think we should disinherit this Pepin for Theodobert, or whether we should try and, you know... Make this Pepin a better Pepin. A greater Pepin. Um, because obviously we, are, we can't actually, we don't have any options to disinherit this guy yet anyway. And if we don't do it before he becomes, if you disinherit a child, as it were, then there's no, um, a kind of, the, the, the child doesn't hate you. But if you did it to an adult and swaps it to his brother, then he's going to get pissed and he'll lose some loyalty and what have you. Which I guess would be kind of more... Um, realistic to what actually happened because obviously that probably does spark some resentment to um, Pepin. Anyway, I've covered all that. I've waffled on. We've given you some history there and uh, we'll keep on playing. So fear not, we've got plenty to do. As I said, I spent some money. I'm building a water mill for the agricultural bonus and industrial buildings bonus. Down here, we're also getting a trading post going. I think I was building something up here as well that I clicked to build. Destroying that. Managed to take out most of the um, Obodrite forces. We've taken all their land, so it's just the last few little specks of their army to destroy. We secured non-aggression with the Danes, although they don't look that friendly. We have got non-aggression with them now. I mean, I could try and improve that with um, some trade, quickly and well. but it doesn't look... Successful. And actually, they're not improving, they're getting worse, it's deteriorating. So, I kind of feel like maybe we'll just have to go after them sooner rather than later, but I also want to go after Bohemia next. Bohemia is my next target, I haven't made any treaties with them, so we'll leave the Danes for now, because if they want to break their treaty and upset that um, sure non-aggression pact that I've made, then they but can, because if we declare war now, Talk of meat. Not it's honey. condemned as an act of treachery, so we don't want to do that. No, 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 no. We are still at war with Barrios and Valencia. Barrios, we're not worrying about. Valencia will wipe out shortly. Uh, obviously, we're defensive allies with the Papal States. Military allies with Carloman, Asturias, Bavaria, and Venice. And that's worked out rather nicely for us. Uh, we're going to start trying to assassinate Carloman's generals as well. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got something in my throat at the moment, so ah, I might have to clear my throat, but this mic, as sensitive and as glorious as it is, will be very uh, um, successful in picking up those little throat noises, so my apologies for any uh, disgust that that may throw to you guys. Yes, we're going to start trying to kill Carloman's generals to level this guy up so that he can then have a better chance of actually assassinating Carloman. Again, just a reminder, guys, I cannot assassinate him during this character panel. Someone always asks me, why aren't you just assassinating him? You cannot assassinate characters that belong um, to other factions. Cannot do it. Um, if that if that's all going fine, once we've kind of wrapped up things down here, then we might just go and smack Carloman's army in the face and kill him that way, but I don't really want to. I kind of like, I'm happy to play things out as, as they are. He's my ally at the moment. We don't have any missions that are saying, go kill him, basically. Tides of War, we just need to reach Imperial Level 5. There might be some treaties in, or parts in here that require us to do it. No, I don't think so at all, so we're all good. We've made peace with the Lombards as well, so we've got a bit of a respite there. We'll have to now wait in the south for a while before we can redeclare war on them. Uh, we can actually find, we should be able to find out here. 
nine turns I've got to wait before we get a penalty. So that's what I'm hoping in that time is this time we'll probably leave here to just lock things down. My armies from the north are going to go after uh, Bohemia and the rebels that are down here and just conquer that sector. And then we'll just shore things up. Obviously still looking to build up this army just in case. We'll have to do that next turn. Let's end it. Let's get through a turn, Lionheart, because you spent plenty of time talking about Pepin and Hunchbacks and all that. But for those of you that like the historical snippets, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm still going through and sifting through all the suggestions you guys made and left me. So I'll always try to add little bits in where I can. And again, there's timestamps in the description, which will jump you forward from all that anyway if you're not interested so there we go there we go governor kingdom of Carlum. you're actually pulling armies back i thought you were pushing for an offensive but perhaps not <clears throat> oh damn i assume we've got military access to each other i would kind of like to cut you off now actually and prevent you from going through my lands but you've got enough territory in the south to facilitate movement through if you need it so darn blast Ah, call to arms. Yes, that's that's worked out perfectly, actually. They're probably going to go up and start taking my settlements. No, nope. Bohemia just straight on runs into my lands. Ah, you're going to go over here and besiege me. That's fine. You're going to hit me here. Well, that could be auto-resolved. Thank you. Kick him in the nuts, right in the shoulder. In the neck. Bye-bye. I'll take on the warriors, yeah. They're besieging me there, but they're taking a trishon. So we should be able to bring her down. Right. Yeah, military investment, that's fine. Noble birth. Uh, Raton. Eggyhard and Ermintrude. Does he spread? Does he spread rebellion? Imminent in Saxony, that's fine. Ah, Iggy Hart has found another wife. She's mean. Upkeep costs for all units, husband when commanding. And I'm trying to think, he is a four star general, so most, yeah, he's not a governor, I hardly doubt. Uh, minus two integrity when husband is commanding. Um. <laughs> I love that mean. Your men do not need new boots. They had some three years ago. Are they eating the things? <laughs> yes, go on. I mean, he's pretty. He's forty-nine, so we're just. This is just to make him happy, I guess. You know. So where's that son they've had? Ah, Roraton from another Eggyhard, a great dynasty of mighty Eggyhards. Their sons are what I want to nurture and and build up. All of these, these great generals, want to bring into the family to expand the Carolingian dynasty. Unfortunately, both of these children have died. Alas, poor Roland, poor Roland, and Lutigard. But you're still young. You could you could still pump out a beer beer or two. We have Hildegard down there, who probably should be married to Charlemagne, but neither here nor there. Anyway, so you're married there. That's all. Oh, you're a governor, in fact. Anyway, so that's that's fine. Um, so you don't lose that integrity, but you don't get the bonus of you being in an army. But yep, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You get the personal situation thing. Right now, you guys are pretty dead. The thing is, I would normally let these guys siege me out for a few turns. However, we have both a rebellion and our forces are taking attrition through here, so we need to go kill this king. He's probably going to flee. Yeah, but now he cannot flee anymore. Ooh, a night battle. Um, No, he's going to fight it. Well, do we need to fight it? Mm, no. We don't. We don't need to fight it. They can go. Faction destroyed. Nice. Right, you're now going to jump on into the settlement. We're going to let this force build up, this rebel army build up for a turn or two and then we'll go and deal with that we've got the morale for sea, we're laying siege replenishment, raiding income, I barely do that anyway, loyalty, integrity is our integrity suffering a little bit from attrition <laughs> battle 1, faction 2 missile damage, let's increase missile damage, ammunition for missile infantry, let's go through that tree, I quite like the idea of that Right, they're all part of the same province, so these guys, you're going to have to move down against Bohemia 
now, or we're going to be in trouble. Um, we're actually going to... Well, if we force march, we can get to there. If we regular march, we can get to there. So let's just move regularly. I know we're going to take attrition going through the snow, but it's actually not too bad. Even the fact that we'll have to sit here for another turn, that's fine. Their main force looks like they're gathering up on their border, taking attrition anyway. They're actually raiding me. And uh, Halstat. Going after Bavaria, apparently, but they've they've lost some land to the Slavic rebels over here, so we can probably deal with them quite nicely. Right, now we've got the Abbey um, over here, and we have the Hospice. There was someone else where I was somewhere else where I was building a Hospice, and that was down here, I remember. Or an Abbey, rather. That's where I was. Um, so we can't build the Hospice just yet. We need the Abbey. One more turn, and that sorts out the uh, sanitation down here. How are we doing in Verona? Verona is pretty darn happy. How's the military presence? That's 22. Bologna is on its own. I might just switch between the two of them per turn. Minus 2. Minus 19. We're now gaining 12. That's fine. You guys are contributing factors. Difficulty level. Instability. So they'll lose a minus 3. And religious differences. So the thing is you've got quite... You're earning me a fair bit of money. So we need to take either Venezia or Raven, no, or Aquila, which is held by the Lombards, to build something to help us out in terms of um, public order. But um, we we can manage it. We can manage it. Bologna is upset due to the immigrants and all that. Hmm. Immigrants, and I would assume. Instability is actually very low, so that's that's fine. Stabilizing though, they brought up their king, the Lombardian king here. The levy spearmen have got hoods. Lombard lancers. Okay, right. Well, 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 well. That's all well and good for now. We're building various things to help improve the economy across the empire. And considering with the number of armies we have and what we're continuing to build, we're not actually doing too bad. Uh, so that's all good. Arkan, yeah, we could upgrade you, but there's no point. The goldsmith, uh, our sanitation, that is bleeding through from over here. If we want to upgrade that to give more, that would be useful, but we need church care, and that needs to upgrade to a cathedral, which needs the charter of modern thought. And church care is down there, so it's off from that, and it takes a while. It takes a wee while. These guys are literally just spreading the disease constantly around them. Um... I mean, unless I converted one of these over, I don't think we're going to get it. I mean, we could, we could, we could kind, we could invest in sorting this out just because I don't know how long it's going to take to sort out reams. Although they've now got um, disease in reams because it's spreading to them. Because reams, I'm definitely going to convert, but we're not getting any close to that. I, I will leave it for now. I'll leave it for now, but. It is something I am thinking about. Market Street, we could upgrade. Or I could build more troops in here. But I guess I should have a standing army ready to go. Build the spears in here. They're just expensive. And obviously they're just going to be sitting there not doing anything. I mean, we could send them after Brittany, perhaps. Maybe we could just, with that army, we could get, we could battle Harden and test them with Brittany. We have a non-aggression pact with them. They aren't allied to anyone else, though. So it would be a good way of kind of testing them out, I guess. I reckon one army can probably do it with reasonable troops, so that's what we'll look to do with them then, until Carloman dies. Uh, I don't have any money to go and assassinate one of his generals now. And that is kind of important, but we'll do that next turn, because building up those troops is also rather important. But yeah, we're going to start assassinating generals of his, because he's got some two stars down here, which hopefully shouldn't be too difficult to kill. Let's have a look. Assassinate. Yeah, only 9% chance we'll actually get him. Oh, he's a better general than just two stars. Was well, only showing two above him. As a pepin. Yeah, 17% chance to assassinate. We'll give that a go. Right, and we were trying to work out whether we were going to kill these guys or not. We were just trapping them in there for now and letting them take attrition. Because they've got to go through me. So, we will just chill here. Uh, is there anything I can do that will help us out? Um, stance patrol would probably be a good one. We don't want to raid. So yeah, we'll go on to patrol. Keep a open, men. 
And go on to patrol. They're chilling here, so that's fine. Valencia, we need to convert a couple of your buildings over. Barracks and your royal house. You have a priory. Uh, so I'm thinking, what have we got in terms of commerce is pretty nice, but we're going to go for the court because that allows us to upgrade our barracks because we've already got one of them there and that'll be a good hub for military in the south. So, ending turn again. Drogo has an unassigned skill as a governor. You've already got the bureaucrat stuff going on. Uh, you've already got authority going on. Your cunning doesn't help you out bureaucratically, does it? I'll maintain its cost a little bit. And then I guess we'll go for builder. So, yes, that'll help too. End of the turn. Try and go after those bohemian forces soon and all the various rebels. Ba, 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 ba. Kingdom of Carloman, once again, moving your force. Oh, you're striking Toledo. See, this this campaign in Spain would be very beneficial to me if uh, Carloman suddenly dies, because all of his main forces are f way too far south to be a threat to get back to Paris in time to stop me from taking it. However, they can do a lot of damage to my territories in the surrounding area. Attrition, men lost only 12, and that is why it's really not a threat. I think they should probably tweak that to do more damage, to be honest. Because in Attila, I, I don't know, maybe in Attila they had it, like the base campaign, they had it too high, maybe, sometimes, because it really did just stop you moving. Yeah, I thought you'd run. But in this, it's like, it really doesn't make any kind of difference, to be honest. You know, you can take the hit. Um, we've got to set, I don't know where their army's gone. Has it gone after Bavaria? I don't know. Well, we'll go in and strike Dresden. Night attack. Um, so we need some battering rams and some siege towers. Well, no, we're going to have to go for ladders. Uh, well, no, we can hit them, we can hit them for two turns. Because they'll start taking attrition, so that's fine. Yeah, three towers, that's fine. Then we can night attack them. They'll start taking attrition. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, money's going down, but it's okay. Uh, rebels over here. Yeah. Oi, die. Oh, wow, you have a lot of catapults. I will not attack you just because I can. Again, ultra resolve. Going through these quickly because they're not any battles of major significance. We'll probably have that siege, though, with Bohemia. You're a general, so you're not going to want tax. You're going to want authority. Public order in government province, no, but we need that anyway to start building up. Zeal, buh, 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 buh. I mean, it was cunning we want, we've already maxed that out, so we'll go for uni experience. Nice, that province is now sorted. Build that, repair that, and we've we got some stuff to destroy. And what is that? A mineral spring of oh, sanitation. Is that actually giving me the sanitation though? It is legit giving me the sanitation, which is kind of annoying that I can't convert it. It's just casual mineral spring. Unfortunately, I've got to get rid of you. Uh, we can convert you to a priory, though. That'll help with public order, so let's just throw that in there. I do still have to convert things. I keep forgetting where. No, not no. I know where it is. It's down at Valencia. That's where I was thinking. Can't convert you guys. Sorry, don't have enough money. These guys are just attritioning down. We'll, we'll just keep, keep that there for now. Now, much we need to do. Um... Can we kill one of these guys? Maybe even though you're a better general, I can kill you. Nope. Oh, this one must be the one I could kill easier. Yeah, 17% chance of actually killing him. Success! Carloman's not going to be liking this, his faction, but... You know. Norderbert, out of favour. Oh, bloody hell. Not levelling up much. Um, great diplomacy. 
actions. It's only a minor thing. It's all good. Plus, we've got the religious uh, affinity at the moment from completing that mission. So that's all good. Keep going on after them. we got Valencia, which we'll convert next time. We're building these guys up. Then we're going to go after Brittany. We need, we've got four spears, four swords. I need probably two more swords, which takes up to 16. And then it's the cavalry. I'll be four units of cavalry because I can't get any siege engine uh, engines here. No on the guards, but that's okay. How are we doing here in terms of religion? Is it, is it like maxed out? Surely it must be pretty... Yeah, it's getting there. Nearly. Besieging there for a few turns. Cool. Ends the turn. Lombard's pulling their forces back now because we have peace at the border. And we'll do for... Another seven turns, I think. My calculation's right. Duchy of Benevito. What are you guys up to? Ah, peace treaty. My no. people wish to offer you this gift of gold, if you will take it. Become my um, puppet or die. Oh, I see. Your response is to attack my settlement over here or die. Well, we'll fight this one because we're going to lose, but we can most certainly do a bit of damage to them, considering we've got some armoured spearmen in here. Ah, uh, we've got Odo in here. He's a governor. Ah, oh, I'm going to lose Odo. Oh no. Oh wait, no, I can't do because he... He would be in the provincial capital. That's not here, so no, it's not a governor. We've got Barricade. I do have one unit of javelins. They do have a crap ton of archers though, and they've got Slav Riders. Raiders. But we'll fight it and we'll see how we go. Try and whittle them down. Whittle them down. My god. All the while, I'm going to keep on smacking their capital. Even if they take a couple of lands from me, it's fine. I can swoop back up after them. I think I'll remain besieged. Well, remain sieging. Besieging my enemy for now. Come on, Odo. If we can kill their general, then, yeah, then maybe we've got a chance here. Um, we've got a sword unit. And, of course, they're going to split up their forces. Really bloody annoying. Like, efficient. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's really efficient. But in this situation, it does mean that there's not a huge... Oh, they've actually got guys coming in from behind as well. Are you... Oh, you're going to come up this way. Okay, so, I mean, I'd love to put a barricade there, but they're just going to flank round me there and hit me. Barricade to pull these guys in. I mean, we'll place a barricade there, and I'll place my javelins on it. And I'll place these spears here, but we may end up just all pulling back. We shall see. I'm going to pop these guys here. I'm going to put the armoured spears over here to deal with this lot. Swords are going to have to be here. And we're probably going to have to charge down at the enemy coming up to us because it's mainly all spears. My archers are... Well, they've got forces coming up. They've got archers there. I don't want to get caught in an archer battle, though. I want to use my archers against their missile troops, though. So they're going to have to go here and here. We're not going to have anyone. This is my general over here. Um, where's their general's over there? I can't deploy my cavalry. Well, there's some trees there that I could quickly rush out to, probably. So yeah, let's do that with my cav. And then try and swoop into theirs later on. We're leaving that flank exposed, but I doubt they're going to swing all the way around. They might come around here. Spears are there, spears are there, spears are there. Right, let's do this. 
You guys are far at will, though. Kind of the most important part of the jab strat. Let's fast forward as well. Let these guys come in. See, if they start going around that way, then I'll probably just pull these guys back and pop the javelins up here or something. But if we can draw some of them in here, again, might be the spears or these archers. We'll have to see. Thankfully, this tower should be able to shoot them on their long march up. We have sighted the enemy. These guys coming in over here. Only got my general. Only got my general over there. I don't have enough forces to defend against everyone. They're not sending troops in here. They're going to send these cavalry units, though. So we'll see if they get closer to the to the grouping. And again, I'm going to try and take out their general when the moment is opportune. They're just marshalling around the tower. No, nope. I'm going to pull these guys off the barricade because I want them to try and snipe out that general. If I take out their general, then we're looking good. Their general's actually going... Ooh, they might be trying to flank me. Right, quickly hit their cav, hit their cav, hit their cav. No, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, they're going to come around here. They're going to be sneaky. And I've kind of lost that troop. They're also hitting my general while they flank around with all those guys there. Damn. Yeah, this unit's going to get caught out. I shouldn't have probably had him up there. I should have just sat back here. Well, that's fine. My general, though, is just getting shot to pieces. My men flee the field of battle. I need these guys up here. Try and hit that general a little bit. Arch is there, though. That's annoying. Come on, javelins. Just on that general. Bring him down, bring him down, bring him down. I need that general gone. Bring me that general down. At least I can kill their general. If I'm failing everywhere else here. I mean, they've lost 300 with the towers, mainly. Annoyingly, my general here, Armoured Spearman, is taking a pounding. Cool. Nice. Now their morale don't look so good. Duda. Duda. <laughs> Right, I need to go take out these archers. Send my swords in here. Try and help them out. Don't know where to throw this cavalry specifically at the moment. I'm working out. Because I want them all to kind of crash on in here. But we're going to be in trouble in a minute. I need to pull my archers back. Can't just slam into them here. That might help before those spears get here. Just got to try and bring down some... We've done a fair bit of damage to them, and mainly the towers, just by holding the enemy in place. Oh, those guys are broken. Form up, form up, form up. To flank with you guys. Nice. Hit these guys. And chase after those archers, if I can, or just draw the spear unit around a little bit. Up over here. Okay, no, pull these guys over here then, that's fine. Run, cavalry, run. Hit them in the butt, hit them in the butt, hit them in the butt. I'm trying to draw these guys to another tower. Right, we need to turn these guys round and hit the spears over here. We'll just send these guys round here, it's all good. Again, just kind of keep them being hit by my towers, and that's all good. Okay, archers, get on here and shoot those guys down. Swords over here, general over here. Hit this lot. Yes, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's it, keep getting them hit by the tower. I know you guys are probably tired. 
I've got some archers to kill. Our men have given up and are running in we go, lives. in we go, in we go. Kill them all, kill them all, kill them all. We've got some more spears over here, but if we can break this unit and I can get in for a, a behind strike. Might be okay. Why have those archers not died? Come on, why aren't you going down? I don't think we can win. I don't think we can win this, but we're we're we've done a lot of damage to them considering this is just a basic little garrison force. So I need to make sure I'm flanking with these guys. For maximum impact. Okay, these ar archers are pretty tough, and annoyingly they're also hitting me with their other archers at this point. Enemy troops are at the walls. Those guys are broken. Get rid of these archers. If you wouldn't mind. Ah, cool, they've broken. Finally! Pull these guys around, pull these guys around, pull these guys around. I need to get around. I need to pull these spears out of place so I can go after these archers. Hit these guys, hit these guys, hit these guys. Archers over here, help them out. Block me with those spears quite nicely. I have to hope is that I can do something clever here. Cav management, cav management, cav management. Cav management, yeah! Boom. We broke those guys. Oh my god, come on, pull back. I'm going to get caught in the butt here. If I don't try and pull through, which could be equally devastating, but we're going to do it anyway. It's very devastating. and no, that's the end of my cav. Unfortunately. Ah, oh, so close. Very close. Which is good, because we've just completely annihilated this force now, effectively. Oh, they did lose their archers in the end. That's good. Nice. Okay, well, it's not totally... Okay, you guys over here. I'm going to have to have you guys hiding in the trees. You guys here. All right, come on, archers over here. What we don't want is them all coming at the same time. Which is what they're going to try and do if they're clever. They're going to reinforce and wait for their friends to come. Yep. Which doesn't have enough men to deal with all of them. Unless... They're going to try and come to us, so let's... Let's bring them somewhere where they have to get shot at. Like this tower. There's two of them, but I don't care. Let's bring, come down here. If you want to if you want to try and cap that point, then you can. That tower will actually shoot you, though. That tower should be shooting you. Oh no, it's busy shooting these guys at the moment. It's all good, it's all good. Just down here, just down here. It's all good, come on. Yeah, mum. Follow me down. Walkies! <clears throat> right, Pop these guys in there. Archers just chill here. And my spears are gonna go. And. Trying to work out where I can hide you guys down here. Ah, uh, no, you're going to go for the cap point. Do you actually know to do that? That's because that's interesting if you do. Although I might be, I might be able to tempt you guys to come after me with these archers. I really need this tower firing on them up there. Could you please fire on these guys? Be grand. Otherwise, my cunning plan is not so cunning. Come on. Yeah, come on. That's it. You've capped the point, but it's not a victory point. Got ya. Totally got ya. Tower, why aren't you firing? Yes, now you're firing. Good. That's it. 
you guys aren't hidden here. I need you hidden. Quickly hide, because I don't want them coming after you. You guys are hidden. Not sure if those guys are going to be hidden or not. Come on, tower. Bring them down, tower. I have to charge them now with my... These guys. Then we hit them with these guys. Then we come up with the general to actually try and pull this unit away. For now, while that unit breaks. Let me do the same with this one. Come on, follow the general. It's a new game I like to play. The men are wavering though. I'm not sure I've got enough. No, damn, those swords don't have enough. Oh, they're trying to pull away from an engagement, which isn't advisable. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get lucky enough to do this. Surely. Surely I'm not gonna be able to do it. Then Ah oh, no, guys. I was so hoping I'd have enough to break these guys. Oh, they, they haven't broken, have they? No, they've just gone invisible. They're slowly capping still. Have I got any other towers left? I do have another tower over here. Let's go to the other tower, dude. Might as well, because it's all shots on them. You're going to have to follow me. Okay. Bonus, Entity Mass Shield Defense. If I just sit under this tower, make my final stand here. Or well, really, I should do it right at the front of it. So you guys can't take it. I mean, I could try and run around. I could probably run around for 43 minutes because I've still got my general and his morale is holding. But that's a bit... We'll make a final stand, because even if we lose this, we've taken out enough of their forces here, so. It'll be very easy to retake. Very easy indeed. And I'm quite surprised we managed to do this amount of damage to them. If I'd managed to keep my cavalry alive and hadn't got it stuck in there, I probably shouldn't have tried to throw it in when I did. Probably should have pulled it back around, then we would have probably won. Because I would have had rear charges on these guys. Old man. Thing is, my men are wavering because the tower's pretty inaccurate. Damn. A close defeat. I'll take it. I'll take it. Also, if I haven't wasted that spear unit as well, because that ended up not being... Well, it soaked up some of the damage from the from the raiders, so that was always going to happen to one unit, I guess. Happening to it all being soaked up by one wasn't the worst thing in the world. They have 1,276 remaining, so they only lost half because obviously a lot of them just broke. But still, are they just literally just raiding? They're not even taking. That's even better then. Even better. That's close. Nearly had a defeat, uh, a victory. A very bloody close. I wonder how much garrisons instantly respawned, actually. They sacked me. Okay. Consumption. Oh, shh, stop it. I really probably should actually pay attention to where it's going to, Ghent. No, that's fine. Odo, rank 7. Well, I'm pretty sure these names are sounding very familiar. I know of an Odo. Close defeat. Military investment is still going on over here. Got to build more siege towers. And then we're going to start sorting them, but they're going to start taking attrition this turn. You guys here. Okay, the garrison's back, but it's in poor shape. I mean, I could probably, I could probably, I can spawn a general in here and build up some mercenaries if we want to to hold it. You guys, if I move this army from here, 
your religious difference is 12, but military prince is only 8, so that's actually fine. I can move this army, so in fact we might be able to... Oh, it's because of the siege equipment, but... Okay, no, I'm not going to bother building a, a general here, because if they take it this turn, that's fine. But I can be able to... Re I can retake it with this army next turn uh, under normal movement. I would have thought we can get to the river crossing, so we can block their invasion. They can't go any further here because of the dense forest. They can't get across anywhere else. So that's all good. So they either have to turn back to Dresden, where I'm besieging them, and meet my incensed Frank's army, which will be able to cut them down. Or they have to push towards Magdeburg, where they'll have to besiege. The garrison there, though, is pretty strong as well. And uh, the heroes of the marches are coming down to kill them. So that's all good, too. Right, let's... No, while I've got money, before I forget... Valencia. Let's convert your town first. And uh, we're going to make you to a royal court. And we can do the barracks all in one turn. Lovely. You guys are still whittling down. Can't attack you in this stance. Not taking, like, that much attrition. It's actually a very slow process. But we'll leave you there. I've got nothing else better to do with Charlemagne at the moment. Um, can we assassinate again? Not just yet. I need to keep doing that, though. On the lookout for Carloman as well. But I can't see Carloman. Who needs to die? He's one. So I guess it's when they turn to this character portrait of, of a child that they can be given. They can be made heir. And what have you. Declare heir? No. Should tell me his location? It'd be really useful to know where you are, Carloman. But I can't see, so I'm guessing you're not in play, which makes this of like assassinating him pretty impossible. So not much I can do there. The only other extra bit of money that we've got left, I'm going to put into these guys just to get another swordsman unit. We can't do that, so we'll start getting some cavalry then. Might as well. And then we're going to go. We're going to go after Brittany. Get these guys. Let these guys earn their spurs. Get some veterancy. Get Grimold to rank up as a general, so that he can be in command of a mighty force when we do eventually need to take Paris. <sighs> oh yes. Ah, um, oh, we have rebels over here. I didn't even spot that. Didn't even spot that. Okay. Gonna need to deal with you or we're gonna lose some land. Garrison at the moment could probably handle them. If not, I need to pull this army over. So it all kind of depends on what this bohemian army does next turn after we've ended it. Um, yeah, let's end the turn and just see where things lie. Ready for the next part. Inspire own troops. That's pretty good. Spread religion. Sway, that's quite useful to have, and yeah, we'll have the spread of religion. Just end the turn before we wrap things up for now. I've kind of given you guys an extra long part because I spent like seven minutes at the start of this video giving you some historical lowdown, but I'm sure you guys won't care. Um, well, enjoy this quiet won't time. care for the fact that um, storm is coming. A storm I've given you more content, as it were. Away. You won't mind, is what I should say. And, of course, the Danes. Well, we'll call everyone in. Everyone is now at war with the Danes. Of course, they would declare war when I'm pushing south. Uh, we have a non-aggression, you arseholes. I clearly don't value your treaties. Well, we've got the Danes to deal with. Okay. That's not, again, not too much problem. I just have to pull that army back. We just have to have one army dealing with Bohemia and one dealing with the Danes at the moment to hold them off. In the north, I need to sort out that rebel army as well. It can be done. It can be done. Get my army down at Bologna and Valen um, not Yeah, Valencia. No, not Valencia. Ah, uh, you're going to attack me once more with my 300. Um, I probably could do some damage with just allowing you to take the towers out. So what I'll probably do is fight this one before we record the next part. Before I record the next part. We'll still lose, but it will weaken them down even further. And then we'll go from there. So, 
As always, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, especially if you want to be notified of any delays, changes to schedule, or upcoming series and things like that. And it's a really easy way to communicate with me and get a very fast response. Until next time, don't forget to check out all the links in the description. Affiliates and sponsors, XMG, Green Man Gaming, and GT Omega Racing. Ciao for now.